Here we have a vintage copy of Greg Shorthand, which is how to write things shorthand. I know that seems pretty obvious, but um, when I first saw it, I thought it was a math book because it said functional method, but it's not a math book. I actually had it listed with a few other math textbooks, but um, I was wrong, so shame on me. This book is part one, and I am going to take a moment to move the camera so I can cover a name there. I, even though this person is probably no longer with us, I do want to protect the identity of this person. Um, so I'm going to put the ruler there, and in the... There we go. So we can see that there is a little bit of writing inside. The binding is in pretty good condition. And I'm going to move the camera again to move that. Okay. We'll take a quick look at the copyright date. Which is, here we go, 1947. And a quick look at a couple of the exercises. Wow, that is pretty cool. I wish I could read this. It's like a secret code. Wow. For those of you who think that cursive is going away, can you imagine trying to read this? Or well, someone like me trying to read this. Wow. I can read cursive, but... Actually, I use cursive as a code now. Anyway, um, the binding on the end is in pretty good condition. Overall, oh, February 1947. Oops, let's see if we can get that in focus. There we go. Okay, February 1947. Everything looks good. If you're interested in purchase, you can go to you can go to the description and the link will bring you to the eBay listing. You can also see what else I may have available at the moment if you go to the link that Excuse me, if you go to the link that will bring you to my store. Thanks.